Now I want to talk about Alma Cafe, and I'm very excited uh, about what the Lord is is doing there. And uh, this first frame, uh, change it from me. Alma is the name of the ministry we are establishing as a forward base of operation in um, in Cambodia. You can see the building there. And yes, I did strategically take the picture of the woman with the pointed hat on her head. <laughs> I took a couple of pictures and I saw her coming and so I waited. Because <laughs> I wanted to get that, the image of, of that lady, but she was selling some goods on the street, some food item. I don't even know what it was. I'm so busy taking pictures. But we're excited about it. Go to the next one, please. The facility is located at 43A Street, 454 and 123 on the corner. You can see on the, the map over here, this, this part, it's two blocks away from the Russian market. This here is the Russian market. It's a very popular destination for uh, many international people coming in. I often see posses of Singaporeans wandering through the clothes and the wares and the goods there, as well as uh, French and Canadian and American and um, lots of people. Now, this is a street that comes up. This is 450. Uh, this is Coffee Corner is here. We come down 454. Aaron and Jessica Hasselboy live right here in this house. We have a place maintained there for our own things, a room inside their house. And then you can see just a little further up to this square, that is where the cafe is on 454123. Google assures me that within the next week or so, I will have it on Google Maps and you'll be able to see it. We've registered it already. So then you'll see it on there. But it's, it's very close and uh, the facility, well, let's go to the next frame. I'll tell you a little bit about it. The building has a unique French architecture. Of course, there's a French influence. I say unique French because it's not just a traditional, it's, it's more adjusted to the Cambodian environment. And it stands out from the rest of the buildings in the area, and I believe it will become an icon. I, I think, see, the first time I saw this building, I thought, I like this building. It's like when you meet somebody you like right away. You know, buildings kind of have their own personality. And I did from the, from the moment I met it because it's different than a lot of other buildings locally. And it stands out. And now that people are knowing that we're moving in there, they all say, yeah, we know that building. It's the pretty building with all the little balconies and the doors and uh, the rounded part. You know, it's kind of charming in its appearance. We go to the next one. Uh, my wife has already come up with the breakfast menu. Uh, this is the, the menu as will be given to each. If you come and you sit in the cafe, which I'll show you the area of the cafe, she's worked out the menu in different sets. She has a la carte menu with pancakes and, and uh, crepes and the like. And then we go to the Mexican set, because it is a Mexican cafe. The first set is Mexican, which is that dish in the middle, which is huevos rancheros, which is tortillas, corn tortillas, with a, with a fried egg on top of it, covered with a salsa made of delicious tomato and chili, and it's fantastic. And we'll come with bacon, refried beans, and some crispy tortilla chips. And also there are tortillas that will be made by hand by the uh, staff there. My wife made all this food. She's very well versed in making it. She can teach other people how to do that. And we're also bringing in uh, Berna, Ellie's mother, a Mexican chef, to, to help do that. We'll have a Singapore set with two eggs, soft boiled, with soy and white pepper, a toast, <laughs> butter, and kaya. My wife made that kaya down in the bottom corner there. She, she worked out a number of recipes and has tweaked it to the way she wants it with the right balance of pandan and everything, the egg just right. And, and I mean, maybe it's because she's my wife, but it's the best kaya I've ever had. <laughs> it's really delicious. And we have an American set, which will be two eggs scrambled and fried and bacon and sausage, and you can choose between coffee and tea. And you notice the prices are very reasonable, $4, because product cost is lower there. And $4, you get the whole set. And you think, well, who's going to be going there? Aren't the locals poor? Well, the locals will, will have things for them. But really, this target is, the reason we want to set up this cafe is to generate funds to pay for the ministry. We want it to be self-sufficient and we want it to be an environment, a laboratory of sorts to train the local people coming out of prostitution, coming out of the street life to learn food service skills, how to wait tables, how to manage a kitchen, how to do accounting in the books of the restaurant, how to clean properly, learn hygiene. There's so many things, as you know, that you can teach in restaurant business. And my wife, has she's run three and four restaurants simultaneously before by herself. She knows how to do this, so she's right at home 
And can we go on to the next slide? This is Jessica and Aaron Hassenbowler. Jessica is the girl that was this big taking the mangoes out of my tree, stealing them, and I chased her out. She later got saved in the ministry, and this young American missionary came, and Aaron, he worked there in our ministry, and fell in love with that beautiful Mexican girl, and she did not want anything to do with him, but he wore her down. And <laughs> there they are to this day, married happily, and really serving the Lord. So they are our, they're the front of this project there on the ground. They're never going to leave it. We will go in and out, bring teams in and out. We'll be there to set things up. But these are the guys we need to pray for. We need to pray for them. This is a, you understand, they've never done anything like this before. We have. You know, we've set things up. We've set up ministries. We've done this. So it's, they're petrified, really, probably. would be the best thing. They're a little afraid. And we just need to pray for them to have strength, be encouraged by this. They don't need to worry. We're going to take them by the hand. We're going to walk them carefully. But... It's exciting for them because they're going to grow by leaps and bounds. The experiences they're going to get through this. Then they, and our job is always to train missionaries and ministers. They're going to be able to take this skill. Even if they go elsewhere, they'll have this, this ability to do things like this, having learned from us. So that's the mentor process, and we love doing it. The next one, um, this is the cafe, the bottom floor where the cafe will be. See, it's two stories high, open its traditional form of the buildings there. And you can see that the doors, I have it from both angles, the doors here are these doors that we're looking across. I'm taking a picture back over here, and then this is the front part. And so the kitchen will be back in that section from that post back there, and we have a plan to put uh, chalkboard marquees hanging to, off the top so we can have the daily menu up there, all the things, that, and there will be a glass case um, we're already buying some of the preliminary equipment. Go to the next picture. Oh, this before we get there. This is the fifth floor veranda. On the fifth floor, this veranda runs like the shape of an L around the whole building. It's really lovely up there. Very nice at night. So we have part of the plan. We'll probably have nighttime dining eventually at the top. And from a business perspective, what we're doing to set it up, we're gonna uh, the, we're gonna start just with breakfast. Because then we'll tool up, we'll know what we're doing, then we will graduate into lunch and breakfast. And then dinner, lunch, breakfast. But you have to uh, crawl before you can walk, and you have to walk before you can run, and you have to run before you can fly. So in this, this area, we plan on having tables and things. It's quite lovely. For now, the rooms will be student housing during the program. So if you do come to the program, um, you may get to stay up there and have that beautiful view every morning and sip your tea and look out over the traffic. <laughs> okay, the next step. Uh, this is some of the equipment we've already purchased. We have this range. This is, this is all Chinese company that makes these as a distributor there. Um, I actually spoke some Chinese to him. He was surprised I knew any at all. Uh, we have a, a four burner set. And next to it is a fryer that my wife will probably get when she goes in with two fryer and bins. It's very nice equipment. This is an oven that is, of course, completely inside. It's a professional oven. It has a marble floor in it, so we can do anything. Bake it in a normal oven with layers, but on that floor of it, you can do pizzas. It's a pizza oven as much as it is. There's no limit. Don't tell you what my wife is going to do and with this kind of equipment. So you, you probably want to go visit the ministry there just to eat in the cafe. <laughs> we also have we've, uh, acquired this uh, lower uh, refrigeration system, which will be part of the bar when you walk up to the uh, thing. We have it all planned out ahead. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll fill you in as we move on step by step. In the next frame... I say, pray for God's favor and blessing to be upon all that we do and on all of the people involved in this project. We have a lot of people connected and tied to this. Uh, Jessica, Aaron, and their family. We will be there, but we have people on the ground there. Cynthia is, is there. She's going to be involved in this as much as possible. All the students, they're all going to work. Um, and because I like work and they need to like it too. If they're coming to be discipled by me and I'm going to mentor them, I'm going to teach them about the fact that the kingdom of God is all about hard work. Amen. And thank you, I say, to anyone who uh, has been giving to this project. We're just starting. We, we still have funds sitting 
that we're waiting to take the next step so we don't want to go too quickly. We're getting ready to replace the carpet on the stairs. It's quite run down and ugly. We're going to put brown carpet in the place of that electric blue carpet that's in there now and make it a little more pleasing to the eye and it's old carpet. So, and it's, it's really, we can do all five stories of the staircase for like $500 or $600 unbelievably cheap for things like that in Cambodia so we're grateful we believe the money we have we're gonna get a lot of bang for our buck and produce this and all of you will see it as a vacation destination and and then I'll put you to work <laughs> but in a good way I, I, I've done that through the years we've always created as a pastor and as a leader my job is to create corrals for the sheep where the sheep can be involved in the ministry because I'm apostolic, I create these venues so that everyone can find purpose and fulfill themselves in, in that. That's what I've always done through these years that we did in Mexico and what we're doing in Cambodia now.